2010 Hyundai. It's the accent. It's got the big one six. And there's something going funky with this lady's wipers. So I ordered us one of these from Napa. Because I'm pretty sure I know what's going on. So let's turn the key on here. We'll close the door so our dinger quits dinging. Let's got the roly polies. So we have high. We have low. We've got a squirter. But when we go to intermittent, let's see where this is. They just kind of stop up on the window. However, if we very lightly fiddle with the switch here and we hold it just right, the intermittents will work intermittently as they should. So there they go again. And if I just hold the switch very gingerly, they will continue to work. But if I let go of the switch, they don't. So, I'm assuming the problem is in the switch, being that I, all we gotta do is just give it a little wiggle, and then they work. Even the mist feature doesn't work. You kinda gotta, if you, if you hold it just right, you can get it though. So, that's my diagnosis. <laughs> that's the best we're doing on this one, folks. So diagnosing isn't always uh, super fancy. They require high-tech tools. A lot of times it's just some common sense, which is all we used in this case. So there's one screw. I think it I looked in service data. It said we had three. The other ones are up here. There's one here. And we'll turn the steering wheel the other way and we'll get the other one. Oh, I was going to put that on the floor anyways. Look at me. Today's my lucky day. We'll turn this this way. Turn that this way and we'll get this little guy right here. And then that should release the lower cover and hopefully the upper cover. I think the book time was pretty low on this, so it should be easy. My little fella. There we go, perfect. Let's see if we can very gingerly get this to kind of pop apart here. Come in here with a prying apparatus. Hey Luna, come here. Let me come on this side very gingerly. <laughs> Come on, baby. Move this over here. Take this little trim that goes around the uh, keyhole. Wow, come on, man. Usually a couple wiggles and these things will pop apart. Come on, man. Let me go get a little screwdriver. Let's see if we can come right along this edge here. There she goes. That's all we needed. like a mystery maze there we go so this is what's on the driver's side retainer there retainer there little guide pins this is over on the keyhole side one there one there no casualties we need to straighten out this wheel again and then we should be able to pop the top half off I would think there it's your top half so that's what that looks like not a biggie deal now we gotta come over on this side no we don't we're working over on this side <laughs> okay we got, you know what we ought to do we ought to make sure the one napa got us there. we haven't even looked at it yet looks like as a gambling man there's a little release tab right here 
Yes, sir. That baby pops right out. Let's unplug it. Mm hmm. The release tab I pushed is right there. Right smack in the middle. Wee! Let's see if Napa sends the right one. You guys are sitting on the box, so sit you back on the box. Before we even open it, let's just kind of compare. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Looks good. I think there was only two options with or without rear wiper if I remember correctly when I was ordering it this one clearly has the rear wiper got some intermittent and everything else looks okie dokie it's probably oh I was gonna say it's probably a Hyundai part and it is so standard motor products who sells Napa Eklund um, you'll oftentimes see stuff like this uh, that's just OEM in the Napa box and then we just line her back up on here Clark and we'll turn the key on we've got high we've got a squirter we've got low gotta find a door dinger you got the deal oh there we go hold my finger on it that's intermittent That works. We got rear. Where, how's the rear squirter work? Oh, like that. Oh, we got a rear squirter. We've got intermittent. We have everything we need, nothing that we don't. And that's it, folks. Easy peasy one today. Released this morning. It's still early. This is just our first job of the day. First job of the day, easy peasy. And then we'll go through this little maze of getting this thing on. That took you out. There's that, that side clicked together very nicely. Probably should stick this thing on. Who would have thunk that this, there we go. It was in the back, it wasn't lining up 100%. But we got her this time, boys. We'll get our screw back in here because we're right here. And get the other side here for us. And last but not least, find this little guy under here. That's it. This thing works. The wipers work. Everybody's happy. Well, there you have it, folks. Windshield wiper switch and your Hyundai accent. Uh, pretty easy job. I think it only pays four tenths of an hour. We took uh, about that much. <laughs> not quite. Um, but it was an easy job. Not a real exciting video and not a real in depth, fancy diagnosis. But perhaps it'll help somebody who has a Hyundai accent and a window or the wipers aren't working as they should or they think they need a switch. The column cover was the hardest part of the whole job, but we got it off and back together without breaking any plastic, so that's good. Now, don't you guys break my heart by not going in that comment section. Questions, comments, concerns, the Insty, the Facebook. You guys know where to find us by now. Right down there. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.